So I think that inspiration for the track is just every job. So like nine to five is just, uh, it's not for me. It's actually eight to five. <laughs> when, I remember when I was in school, I was like, man, I'm not going to get a nine to five. And I didn't. I got an eight to five. I don't know why they changed that. So I think it's just all the jobs collectively I've had. But my worst job, probably Subway. Sorry, Subway. I have a good grip. And the manager wanted me to make the tuna. You had to squeeze the water out of the tuna. And it was just, it was nasty. So I would squeeze all this tuna. Then I had to mix the mayo in. And man, that was, that was bad. And it just smelled bad. And, but you know, that was my first job. So I can't complain. I want to be my own boss so I could give me a raise Sick and tired of working for the minimum pays Sick of being sick and using up sick days I can see the streams when they come six ways I want to be my own boss so I can make all the laws Own boss? It's about being your own boss. Uh, that's uh, something that I'm striving for and will accomplish one day. And I'm very excited for that day. Ownership is big to me and being able to own everything, like masters, everything is, it's just important for me. Um, I'm independent, completely independent. I will always be independent no matter the, what deal comes across my plate. So uh, being your own boss and having that entrepreneurial spirit is something that I, I really look forward to. First first goes CEO, see me go. I don't watch no TV shows. Can't wait till no PTO daily. Most have weekly flows. Being a boss CEO, chief executive officer, um, I just like that title. I probably, you know, I might have a CEO title one day, but not in the corporate world, more from like my own company. Can't wait till no PTO, man, that speaks. Uh, the current job I have now, I'm grateful for. I have five days of PTO for the entirety of a year. It's not something that I'm happy about, but I have a lot of flexibility with it. So it is what it is. Daily, most have weekly flows. I rap every day. I do this every day. I know a lot of people make music, but this isn't something that I do every once in a while or once a month. This is a daily activity. There's truth to the matter. I don't want to move up the ladder already over mountains. I see more than thousands looking at the man and reflections of the class. It isn't clouded. You know, I don't want to move up the corporate ladder. I'm already over mountaintops. I'm way past that. Maybe not right now, physically, but in my mind, manifestation, you know, that's where I'm at. I see more than thousands. You know, most jobs that you get, especially out of school, you're not making millions of dollars. I want millions and I'm going to make millions. I'm not going to settle for a couple thousand dollars every week. That's not, that's not something that um, I'm going to settle for. I'll hand me my award. Payday is daily and it's always with rewards. Permanently out of office, what is cautious? I gotta work for me, it's not working, plus I don't do bosses. It's not that I, I, I uh, have a huge issue with authority, but I don't like being told what to do. And that's why I love music so much. I, I don't do bosses. I just, it's just not something that I'm, I'm uh, good at doing. I'm just a man in the race who planned his escape and got out the maze, now it's okay. I can't play it safe. They're after my time, it's a waste, and that's not okay. The most valuable asset that we have on this earth is time. How you spend that is pertinent, because if you spend it on your phone, or you spend it doing nothing all day and watching Netflix, that's a waste, and working somewhere that you don't want, that's a waste of time. I understand, you know, gotta pay bills, you gotta do some things that can help you get to that next level, and that's where I'm at now, that's where a lot of people are at now, and I respect that, but it's not a, permanent thing. I want to be my own boss so I could get me a raise. Sick and tired of working for the minimal pays. Sick of being sick and using up sick days. I can see the streams when they come six ways. I want to be my own boss. So pretty simple, you know, I'm sick of taking sick days. I just, you know, if I'm sick, I want to just lay in bed. I don't have to report to anybody. One part of being successful and wealthy is having multiple streams of revenue. So saying like, I could see the streams coming in when I have six streams of revenue. I'm going to be my own boss so I can make all the laws. Hawaiian shirts daily and nobody has flaws. I report to me and look, I always have off. Live in someone's dream, but it comes at a cost. So I love Hawaiian shirts. I'm not wearing one now, but when it's nicer, I'll start wearing more Hawaiian shirts. The last line I think is really important. Live in someone's dream, but it comes at a cost. Uh, if you are an employee, harsh truth, you are, you're living someone's dream. If you're the employee, the boss man, he's sitting somewhere in a yacht, smoking a cigar, hanging out, you know? You're helping someone else live their dream. And that, you know, for the time being, that's okay. Um, but, you know, make that change and be, become your own boss. 
I don't want to hit that quota. Rather, down two shots without soda. Would they even notice? Would I even care because it's bogus? Disappear from my chair like hocus, strike one. I am in a position right now where I do have a quota. So I was talking kind of like where the position I am now is where I, I don't want to hit the quota. Maybe I'll just take two shots instead. Like, would they even care? Um, so it's just like, a, it's just a fun line. I don't drink at work. Disappear from my chair like hocus, strike one. So, uh, you know, if I just left the office, like would, would anybody even notice? I don't want to settle. I'm not like them. Giving out medals, I would not like one. Wanted me to wait until the night comes just to do my job. Which one? The right one. Uh, you know, I don't want to wait for someone to, to hand me my medal. I want to take it. You know, I want to be the one who, who works and earns that. One until they want me to wait all day just to make music. You know, once five o'clock hits, I'm making songs. I'm mixing. I'm mastering. Um, so I do all most of, you know, now I do all my work at night. And, you know, I'm not going to have them want me to just wait until the night comes to do my job. I was feeling like it's backwards. Live it up at 60, but your back hurts and you got a cane now, and your knees filled with pain, it's a shame now, so you can tell when it rains out. Um, you know, a lot of people wait until they hit their 60s to start living their life, and that's not something I can do. You know, people talk about retirement. A lot of people, when I talk about retirement, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna retire in five years, and people laugh at me. They don't quite see the vision, and that's okay. I do, and that's the only thing that matters. When I say, like, I'm gonna retire, like, I'm not waiting for a pension, I'm not waiting for, my IRA to kick in. Like, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna even have any of that. I don't wanna wait my whole life until my knees hurt and my back hurts to start finally doing things and going, traveling the world. Like, I refuse to do that. So I feel like it's backwards. I feel like people try to live their life at the end where they should be living it now. That's my phobia, that complacency. Shift my mind from shifts, that's what's saving me. The only thing you need is some bravery, but the system doesn't teach that amazingly. In public school systems, they're not teaching kids to be courageous. And personally, I don't think they're teaching kids to be entrepreneurs or self-thinkers. You know, even the way our, our days are structured in school, it's like, you know, you wake up at this time, you do this at this time, you eat at this time. It's very, like, conformed and it's very employee-oriented. You know, I feel like we're turning out kids to be employees instead of creatives and self-thinkers. I don't want to be the one looks back, says, man, if only. I know that, that that's not me. I'm budging, I'm moving slowly. I'm not worried, I'm not lonely. I know that I'll make it through. Get your chips and place them on me. Don't know me, so don't assume. I don't want to be one of those people when you get older to say, man, if only I would have, uh, if only I would have stuck to making beats, if only I would have stepped to making music, then I would I would have be where so and so is at. And I think that's where a lot of people say like, oh, so and so got lucky, or so and so, you know, they had a stroke of luck. It's like, no, like you create your luck. There's different types of luck, like winning the lottery, or there's different types of luck of like, oh, you know, how did you get played on the radio? It's like, oh, you reached out to them every week. Wow, that's that's crazy. So I think there's different types of luck. You know, I, I refuse to be somebody who, who looks back on their life and be part of that if only group. The last line, get your chips and place them on me. You don't know me, so don't assume. Um, I think a lot of people discredit people because they don't believe in themselves. You know, if someone comes up to you and says, you know, I'm gonna be the best rapper, do this the best, you know, say, sweet, go get it. To discredit somebody is silly because you don't know what people are capable of. You don't know how much work they're putting in and you don't know how bad they want it, so and that's the whole premise of Own Boss. Lift people up, be your own boss, own boss. On YouTube, you can type in Own Boss, Mr. Al, and uh, go stream it, go like it. Thank you very much. What I don't care, cause it's bogus. Disappear from my chair like hocus, strike one. Said I gotta settle, but I'm not like them. Giving medals, no, but I would not like one. Wanted me to wait until the- In the uh, Own Boss video, mm -hmm. um, what song were you listening to when you were doing the, the skit in the beginning? Well, I love my Chardonnay. Anyway, let's get right into it. Um, yeah, oh. Headphones on. Uh huh. Yeah. What, what what song was that? That was Own Boss. It was it was Own Boss Inception. Yep. So I actually had the track playing while the music video was going. Yep. Wow. <laughs>